I want to send a big shout out to Brian D'Amico. He is the winner of the Bridge Wireless Keyboard for the iPad Pro 11 inch. Hope you enjoy, Brian. Thanks for watching. What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here and today we are back with another review and I'm very excited about this one because if you downloaded the Apple beta, the iPad OS or the iPad iOS 13 beta, you now have early access to Apple Arcade. So all the games that they have at release uh, for September 19th have been uploaded to everyone who has the Apple um, iPad OS beta. And I want to just scroll through and let you see what all games are going to be in here. So first off, you got Dodo Peak, you got Frogger in Toy Town, you got Grindstone, Don't Bug Me, Spaceland, The Pinball Wizard, Cat Quest 2, Mini Motorways, Overland, Lego Brawls. And if you go back out, scroll down a little bit more and you get these games as well. So seven more games down here uh, comes to a total of about... How many games? Seven down there and so about 17 games total to start out with in Apple Arcade. So what we're going to do is we're just going to browse through these. I'm going to show you some of the gameplay, show you how they handle. And I have two controllers here because some of these games will support multiplayer. So get your popcorn, hang around, let's play a few games in the arcade. So the first one that everybody is probably going to download is this one, Sayonara Wild Hearts. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick um, gameplay tutorial uh, just to show you how this works. Now with Sayonara Wild Hearts, you can use your controller. You can use your Xbox controller. I'm going to skip through all that. So they talked about the sounds and the gameplay and how everything's gonna look. And okay, so I'm controlling everything right here with my Xbox controller. Got this on deck. Uh, one of the best controllers that I've used, um, using this one in my PS4 controller because the handles on this one is really good. Now you will not access any of the rumble features on here, but there we go. All right, so we're on a motorcycle. Now, cool thing about this, I'm gonna control everything here. Now, since I have these controllers, I'm gonna take full advantage of my controllers. And the game is really fast paced. Controls are really stable, really steady. Graphics are really good as well. Um, okay, so when you hit a car, you disappear. <laughs> and you gotta start over. So try not to hit cars. Here we go. So graphics look really good. Now, as far as pressing any other buttons, nothing works. Only thing that is working is directional pad. So nothing else is gonna work. But direction pad is really, really stable. It's really precise. And Apple has done a really good job with this. I appreciate it. So I guess the sound is gonna change, the music's gonna change depending on what I do in the game. All right, I guess this is a boss battle or some sort, not quite sure. Oh, no boss battle. So that was the end of that stage. Um, Oh, I guess we came on a boss battle. So I'll play a little bit more of this later on, but I wanna show you some more of the games that are available. Uh, now, before we do get too deep into this, I want you to go and check out these games because some of them are multiplayer. And once you scroll down, it's gonna tell you exactly what goes on with these games. So the age rating is nine plus on this one. It's a role playing game. You can do one or two players. Hence, we have our two controllers. Um, and that's about it. So I have this one downloaded. We're gonna open it up. This is the little cat game, whatever it is, a little role playing game. Now I want you to notice the graphics on this one as well, because I'm going to get us started. I'm gonna touch the screen to get us started. Cat Quest. So uh, we wanna play co-op. So once you're actually in the game of Cat Quest, uh, touch 
is going to be activated automatically. You hit this button right here and it changes it to controller. And as you can see, now I can use my controller in here. So we're using both controllers on the same game. Now, let's try this. PlayStation controller controls this little cat right here. And we'll explore that. Okay. And then for the second little cat. So this is an RPG type game. Okay, so put that controller down, and now we're able to pick this one up. All right, and go right into this game. So another game that actually looked really fun to me that I wanted to try out was this one right here. So Hot Lava. So Hot Lava, you scroll down, it's one to four players, it's controller supported, it's an action game. So let's try this one out next. And you get the Apple Arcade logo every time you start up. So Hot Lava is basically about an action team that is basically trying to save the world. Um, gonna play, we got a new one. Here we go. So the floor is lava, we gotta try to get out of here. So video games will rot your brain, squirt. So you're just running and jumping over things. Jump over that. So you can grab. Running, running and jumping. So it's almost like parkour type. There we go. Jump off of that. Jump over that. So it may take me a little bit of time to get used to this. Okay, we're going in. Hot lava. So we gotta basically not get burned to death in this game. Okay, here we go. Assess the surroundings and jump. Woo! 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 Hot! There we go. Okay, what's this? Jump! Boom! Okay. Climb along the wall. Oh, fell in the lava again. So some of these games are gonna take a little bit of time to get used to, um, but it seems like it's pretty fun and controller support is probably going to be pretty good on all these games. But go back one more time and let's pick another game. Now this is the one that they actually previewed in the Apple show. I'll just play this one and see how it works. And guys below, if you, have a certain game that you like that you want me to display uh shoot me a comment let me know i'll try to play it uh and if you have me if you want me to play a game all the way through i'll play that too um just let me know so this one is frogger okay so all of them have like a little story that you gotta go through before you get started um i'm touching trying to get out of here I didn't even check to see if Frogger was one of those games that had controller support now it is notable to mention that some of these games that have controller support don't only have controller support some of them you actually pick the tablet up and you move from side to side you do different things so it's basically just up to you if you want to use a controller you can but you do not have to you're not forced into using the controller so what i want to know is is frogger oh so it's working with the playstation controller for some reason okay 
So we're just gonna pick up our PlayStation controller and how to play. So we're gonna play with the controller, okay? Um, so all we gotta do is move and throw. So X is gonna be our throw and we're gonna hop around with the D-pad. And that's it. Okay. So seems simple enough. Old school Frogger. There we go. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. So we can actually jump up things now. Got a big jelly bean. And the D-pad as well as the analog can be used. Get out of the road, Frogger. Okay. I guess we gotta go around. I think I'll stick with the uh, D-pad. Analog is kind of hard. All right, so now we're getting more Frogger-like. We gotta, oh, got ran over. Okay, get up, Frogger. Okay, here we go. Run through here, jump around here, get these jelly beans. Okay, we got a bomb. So this is new. Um, Frogger never had a bomb before. Whoa, blowing up stuff, Frogger style. Jump on the car, help. All right. So all in all, Apple Arcade probably will be a really good, really fun time had by all. Now, we saw some of the games. We know that there are gonna be tons of games that'll be coming out. Just to mention, $4.99 per month if you're gonna use this. First month is gonna be free, but you're gonna be able to use all these games and you're also gonna be able to use multiple controllers as well as Xbox and PlayStation controllers. And if you've seen any of my other videos on my controllers, you can use other third-party controllers such as Steel Series, you got the Stratus, you got the Nimbus, and I'm sure that there are others out there that you can use. So if you have any questions about Apple Arcade, about any of the games, shoot me a comment below. Hopefully this is able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.